Gardevoir. To protect its trainer, it will expend all its psychic power to create a small black hole. I was trying to protect my trainer! By creating a goddamn black hole? She's dead! Her entire being was ripped apart instantly by the hyper-intense gravitational pull! Light itself bent! You bent light, damn it! Metapod. Its hard shell doesn't crack a bit, even if Picky Peck pecks at it. But it will tip over, spilling out its insides. Come on, damn it! Faint already! Faint already! Oh god! I need a potion! For the love of god, get me a potion! Ratata. Its incisors grow continuously throughout its life. If its incisors get too long, this Pokémon becomes unable to eat. And it starves to death. I told you to get an Invisalign! Machamp. One arm alone can move mountains. Using all four arms, this Pokémon fires off awesome punches. Alright everyone, this is it. The final leg of our two-week journey through the Onyx Mountain Range. All we have to do is climb the last and easily most treacherous... Can you... give me a second? Hey, bub. Yeah, let's get that Machamp to move the southernmost mountain. Yes, again. These rubes don't know the difference, just do it! Where was I? Oh right, the last leg of our journey. A leisurely walk! Magneton. When three Magnemite link together, their brains also become one. They do not become three times more intelligent. Hmm, now that we are Magneton, do we all share the same butthole? Let me check. I will also check. Ah, I see. Still just magnets with eyes. No buttholes whatsoever. That is... unfortunate. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna get you that full restore. Any minute now! Miltank. Its milk is high in calories and packed with nutrients. Therefore, if you drink too much of it, you may wind up with a body like Miltank's. Hey, Frank. Uh, ha how's that all Miltank milk diet going for you? Good. Real good. Real good. Hey, do you know any doctors? Cacturn. If a traveler is going through a desert in the thick of night, Cacturn will follow in a ragtag group. The Pokémon are biding their time, waiting for the travelers to tire and become incapable of moving. Weird. I feel like I'm being followed. Uh, nope, nope, nope. We're just all headed in the same direction as you. Say, you feeling tired yet by any chance? I always knew I would die this way. This world is truly a nightmare! Celebi. It has the power to travel across time, but it is said to appear only in peaceful times. Celebi! 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 Ha <laughs> Celebi! Evie. Its genes are easily influenced by its surroundings. Even its face starts to look like that of its trainer. Oh no! Milting Frank's gotta reevaluate his life choices. Cubone. It always wears the skull of its dead mother. So no one has any idea what its hidden face looks like. Wait, what? Like every single Cubone wears the skull of their mom by nature? Every single one? How would that even be possible? Are we like born that way? I mean, sure, I'm wearing my mom's skull. But who's to say my kid's gonna wear my skull? That'd be a little crazy, right? Oh, I can feel the baby kicking. I wonder if my water's about to break. <gasps> Pokemon 
Sun brings victory. It is said that trainers with Victini always win, regardless of the type of encounter. Sorry, Orange Mew, but Machamp... Whoa, what? No fair! Recount! Recount! Yay! Cherubi. The small ball holds the nutrients needed for evolution. Apparently, it is very sweet and tasty. Come here, you scamp! Papa's gotta evolve! Oh god, please don't eat me! I have that dance! You know, I heard he had a rib removed so he could do that. Ninetales. Legend has it that Ninetales came into being when nine wizards possessing sacred powers merged into one. We used to be nine separate wizards! Why did we turn ourselves into one dog? One dog that's owned by Milk Tank Frank! Hey, Niney, you thirsty? This is the worst being John Malkovich ever. Entei. Volcanoes erupt when it barks. Unable to restrain its extreme power, it races headlong around the land. Oh, don't worry, this just means he likes you. When its anger reaches a breaking point, this Pokémon unleashes a fierce blizzard that freezes every creature around it, be they friend or foe. Hey, living ice cream cone, you know what I thought was completely satisfying? I thought was the series finale of Lost. Charizard. Its fiery breath reaches incredible temperatures. It can quickly melt glaciers weighing 10,000 tons. Good news! The latest glacier to melt in the Arctic was not due to global warming. It was just due to a dinosaur owned by a child. Oh, wait, that's actually a lot worse. Oh, also a volcano erupted. Wait, two, three, four volcanoes erupted. Probably a dog barking. <laughs> and there's a blizzard in Alola now. Some guy probably upset a living ice cream cone, right? <laughs> Our world is ruled by ultra-powerful creatures that exist in such vast numbers that it's a miracle there's any life on Earth remaining. Back to you, Todd. Bidoof. With nerves of steel, nothing can perturb it. It is more agile and active than it appears. Hey, Doof Stutz, your boy Vanillix. I heard you went up against a Rayquaza today and didn't flinch, yo. You got nerves of steel, bro. Don't nothing get to you, huh? <laughs> anyway, me and Alakazam are headed to the beach. Later. <laughs> right. Old nerves of steel, Bidoof. Nothing gets to me. Why did you leave me alone in this world, PB? Where did you go? the ability to reconstitute its entire cellular structure to transform into whatever it sees. So Ditto, what do you want to become? What do your Ditto eyes see? Oh shit, he's gonna become the sun! Everybody run! Run! Durant. They attack in groups, covering themselves in steel armor to protect themselves from Heatmore. You see this? Pure steel armor. No way Heatmore's getting me. Oh, <laughs> me neither. You hear that, Heatmore? Heatmore. Using their very hot flame-covered tongues, they burn through Durant's steel bodies and consume their insides. Shit! He's eating us easily! His tongue is like a hot knife through butter! And we're the butter! Bidoof. It constantly gnaws on logs and rocks to whittle down its front teeth. It nests alongside water. He's gone, Bianca. He left you. Join me, Bianca. Bad Bidoof. Bad Doof. Never! You're his evil twin brother! Your name is Bad Bidoof, 
That's bad. I could give you the life you deserve, Bianca. Him, though? He's just a memory. I am here, and I will rule over all Doofkind with you as my bride Badoof, my Bradoof. Now excuse me, I have to gnaw on these logs and rocks or my teeth will get super long. Invisalign doesn't work for me! Electrode. Electrode eats electricity in the atmosphere. On days when lightning strikes, you can see this Pokémon exploding all over the place from eating too much electricity. Come on, man, hurry up! Oh, he ate way too much electricity at lunch. He's gonna be in there for a while. Hey! Light a candle! Thank you! Smoochum. Its lips are the most sensitive parts on its body. It always uses its lips first to examine things. Miss Smooch and Pokemon had to make an HR department just because of you. Let me, let me just kiss you a little. Well, please, this, this is exactly the kind of behavior we need to stop. You're making everyone super uncomfortable. Uh, sir, Drifloon is here for your 3.30. Does he have any abducted children with him? Mmm, several. <sighs> Bidoof. A comparison revealed that Bidoof's front teeth grow at the same rate as Rattata's. And do you, Bianca, take Bad Bidoof, aka Badoof, to be your lawful wedded husband? Bad do it! What choice do you have? Oh, baby, I'm so sorry, but you're gone now and I have to move on. I. I doof. I'm. Too late. She's moved on. Why? <laughs> Thank you. This is a really good sandwich. 